I don't even, oh, ew, oh my gosh. <laughs> what was I even thinking? Hey guys, I got a bit of a treat for you today. Well, actually it depends how you define the word treat, but I found some of my really old art under my bed. Like it's a bunch of loose papers of like just old art. I thought I'd share it with you since you guys seem to get a kick out of seeing some of my old art. So, I um, well, let's get started. I don't know what order it's in. A lot of stuff isn't dated, but I can tell it's 2009 and earlier. So, a few of the stuff does coincide with some of my sketchbooks book videos that I've already posted. And if you want to check out some of my sketchbook videos, I'll have a link to the playlist somewhere on the screen. Um, but I'm going to try and do this in this chronological order if I can. Otherwise, it's just art and enjoy the process. <laughs> All right, let's start off with this guy. We can see the reflection. This I remember grabbing like last minute, we were on our way to an archery tournament and I wanted to have something to do in between rounds. So I grabbed this notebook and back in the day, I didn't have sketchbooks. I think this is from when I was either 11 or 12 and I was trying to draw something with motion. I wanted to draw someone, you know, she's sitting and she stands up or she's walking and she sits down. I don't know. But like I didn't have a sketchbook and I think it's very important to understand, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what, <laughs> I just think it's very important to understand that you don't need expensive art supplies. And so I wasn't obsessed with like getting a sketchbook. I just thought having all your sketches in a book of some sort was all you really needed. And that's a uh, target. Here's Bob and Larry. <laughs> that's funny, there's nothing on that page. Oh, this was a game and I was obsessed with at the time on lego.com. You could play Brick Blaster and you had to like connect bricks. <laughs> and when you connected like four in a row, they would pop or something. I don't really remember much. Oh, here's a girl. She's actually kind of pretty. This I think is with like a Sharpie or something. Ooh, I don't know what that is. Ooh, giant face. See, I think when you enjoy art, it's it's okay. I think we can just flip through this pretty fast. If you want to see something longer, you can pause it if you feel the need. Oh, Sebastian from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Ooh, this is kind of cool. Whoa. <laughs> this is scary. <laughs> I love it. I labeled it so that you knew it was a toothbrush. <laughs> More eyeballs. I guess I, was, I really like drawing expressions. Oh, that's Harry Potter, look. Ooh. <laughs> Lightning scar. This is a kind of a cute face. Oh no, I don't even, oh, ew, oh my gosh. <laughs> what was I even thinking? Oh, this stuff's great. Oh, it's like words. What? I wrote a story about Curtis the turtle. <laughs> this is funny. I do not even remember. Look at him, look at those legs. Curtis the turtle. Oh, I was illustrating it like illustrative style cause like I wrote it all out here and then I was drawing a picture per like paragraph. <laughs> this is it. When you think of a turtle, I suppose you think of a slow moving lump but Curtis was no ordinary turtle. I guess that's an ordinary turtle, and that's Curtis. He could run faster than an antelope, swim faster than penguins. He could jump higher than a frog. And that's as far as I got. Way back in the day, I didn't finish sketchbooks or notebooks or whatever you wanna call this. It was definitely a, ooh, I like that. That's pretty. Basically, I just jumped around and sketched wherever I wanted to, and that, I guess that's the purpose of them, but it's cool that I still have these. They're so weird. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to another one. This, I'm not sure what time this goes along with, but I was, this is when I, this is like the first time I tried to make an actual Magna Girl comic, so I made this whole folder. I was going legit on it. <laughs> I wanted to take this seriously, so I made a folder. Anyway, inside, we have my, Sure, what is it? Well, I guess it's just the comic for Magna Girl. There's a few um, concept sketches, a mermaid version, <laughs> um, different characters that were in the comic. Um, this was back when she sort of had like a team 
and they each had their own superpowers. A lot of these ideas have been scrapped a little bit. What is that noise? Oh, there was a dude apparently. He's got a mustache. I remember being very, very proud of this one. I was like, look at that fire. It looks like legit fire. <laughs> Her outfit's kind of cute. Oh, so here's a sketch version, I think, of this. Or maybe not. Looks like it might be a little later where I didn't finish it. But yeah, this was, um, you might recognize the storyline in this comic because this is the same one I redid it in a sketchbook. I'm not sure which sketchbook it was, but I'll have a link to it if you want to see the finished version of this comic. So I made this like either a year or two earlier, and then I thought I can do better than that. So I translated it to a bit of a new style, and like there's a lot more creativity going on when it comes to the panels. They're not so flat and square. <laughs> so if you want to check that out, you definitely can. And I'm also working on a brand new Magna Girl comic, which should be coming out sometime soon. <laughs> I have a shameless plug. Uh, she had water powers. Look, there's like a little wave coming out of her hand. Here I had, oh, I just listed some characters. Wellwood. Oh, her last name was Wellwood once. That's weird. It's not Wellwood anymore. <laughs> when you have a character as long as I've had Magna Girl, she she evolves and things change. And it's so weird because she is the very first original character I've ever had. What's this? It's random information about cake decorating. I think I was doing a report on cake decorating at school. <laughs> Ten of Terror. Ooh! I don't remember. Oh, this is cool. She had this bad guy. Oh, these were a list of bad guys she had to face off. So they were all the, like the lower level ones and as she beat them she like worked her way up the ladder kind of thing. And then I list what their all their powers were. That's kind of cool. I don't remember. Wow. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm going through this. You can like spark some new ideas maybe. But I think in my pile over here, I have the very first sketch I ever did of Man Girl. So we're going to put that over to the side so you can see what she sort of evolved into. She's different than that now. But let me see if I can find it. I think it might be in one of these sketchbooks that's fallen apart. It doesn't even have the cardboard piece anymore. But it's, let's see if I can. Got more Sponge, or not Spongebob, Larry the Cucumber. There's a princess, a tornado, another Larry. At the time, I remember I had this little portable DVD player and I'd sit on my bed with the portable DVD player and watch how to draw videos for all the VeggieTale characters. So, I mean, everyone gets started in a different way and it's, you know, everyone's got their own story and apparently that's mine. <laughs> There's a girl who wants to be a mermaid, apparently. Or they're just friends. <laughs> More veggie tales. I don't know how old I was in these. I'm guessing I was probably 10 or 11 again. Maybe even nine. Oh, here I'm playing a game where you had to guess what I was drawing. I was playing with, it looks like my brother. And so like each different little square was like a different thing that we're drawing and the other person had to guess. A <laughs> walking stick. More of those. Here's a girl with an elephant nose and a little bear. This is actually kind of cute. Look at that. Uh, more Veggie Tales, I think. I drew a teacher. Cause at the time, I really liked school. <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't. I don't want to talk about school anymore. Oh, nothing. Oh, here I'm trying some perspective. There's like a monkey looking down through a skylight where a girl's dancing. That's pretty creative, actually. Oh, here's a lady with a very stretchy arm. She's like Mrs. Fantastic. Can you see that? Mrs. Fantastic princess. Uh, another random girl. So even back then, I still basically only drew girls. Not much has changed. It's like a rubber ducky or something and a monkey and teeth. What is with me and drawing freaky teeth? It's the second time I found that now in these sketchbooks. Different heads, I think. Oh, so I'm experimenting with different heads. They look the same. <laughs> I really like that dress. It's actually kind of pretty. Oh, here it is. I found it. The very first picture of Magna Girl. She looks very different, doesn't she? She has like this ripped up crop top and like fire powers. So originally she was drawn so that I could avoid drawing hands. So I gave her these fire parts. You can see that I tried to draw hands originally and then erased it and then drew fire. So it's for the, like, at least to the best of my knowledge, I think this is my first Magna Girl sketch I ever did. Unless I bump into something else, this is it. 
So just feast your eyes on that beauty. <laughs> Look at that belly button, it looks like an eyeball. And so originally she actually had friends that also had superpowers. That idea got scrapped pretty soon, like relatively soon after this, but that's, the. I can't stop looking at this, it's just amusing me. I kind of like the way I used to draw eyes, they're just little like peanuts or something. And then I went to this one where I would draw these huge like tombstone shapes with like little white dots. And that, I think it's just funny that like the way your style evolves. So if people are like, I don't have a style, you have a style, it's just not what you probably want at the time. And as you draw, it will evolve into something that you like better because you're gonna slowly nitpick at things. But like, look, that's definitely a style change from what, I think this was probably nine or 10 and then that's 13 years old, I think, for that one, so. And here's the more Magna Girl with her friends who had superpowers. More Magna Girl. <laughs> See, as soon as I drew her, I fell in love with her. I just couldn't stop. You know? She's one of those characters that just won't leave me alone. Like, I try not to draw her, but then I draw her, so. Oh, look at the bad guy. She reminds me of someone from the Powerpuff Girls, actually. I can't remember her name. She had piggy tails, and I feel like she wore a crown. <laughs> I was trying to come up with bad guys, and I was like, question mark powers. So, can you see that? It's a question mark. <laughs> Ooh, the pages are falling out. <laughs> Ooh, an evil Furby! <laughs> Look, I've got my magnet girl and her friends and the bad guys inside this giant freaky Furby. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, here's another bad guy. What you can see, I drew all the different powers. So there's the fire, there's the Z's, and there's the electricity all hitting the bad guy. That's funny. There's a bad guy running away with money to her cape. <laughs> oh, I wish I had dated this stuff. Always date your art, guys. You don't know what, like you might remember what it is now, but you will not remember in the future. Especially when it's been, what? Probably been 15 years since I drew these things. Oh, these are cute. I bet I used to reference for these. I think I had a how to draw sea animals book or we got it from the library or something. But then I drew this one. Or that might have been, I don't know. I really couldn't tell you what I was thinking. That was definitely a how to draw your book. How to draw a book. <laughs> this is just so long ago. I started using color though, that's fun. I was just as good at color theory then as I am now. <laughs> Ooh, Magna Girl developed. Whoa, that was quick. I wonder if this was added in later because the eyes are starting to look very similar. It's got the weird tombstones with the circles. <laughs> Oh, nothing. I couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> and there's flies on fire. <laughs> oh, Magna Girl, getting out of bed. And then in her closet, she's got her little outfit and her superhero outfit. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. I think I'm gonna... <gasps> My obsession with dinosaurs started young, I guess. <laughs> there's like a cave girl, two cave girls and their pet dinosaurs. Oh, it's apparently a birthday present for my friend. <laughs> oh, that one's still sideways. We've got, looks like some kind of Jedi. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, that's actually a cute hairstyle, I like that. But drawing in pencil, so it's very hard to see. Ooh, something colored. <laughs> it's like an elf, her face is blue. I, I don't know why I colored her skin blue and orange. Her hair is pink and blue. <laughs> I really don't have much to say about these things because they're just so, I don't know, it's so long ago. It's like looking at someone else's art to me now. And it's just weird to think that I drew these. And at the time, I never thought I would get any better because I know there were a lot of times, I don't know if you can hear me with all these <laughs> papers moving around. There was a lot of times during these sketchbooks that I thought I was like the worst artist in the world, but I just kept doing it anyway. And I think it's very important to keep going because like if you look at some of my art now, like it does, it's not even recognizable that these were drawn by the same person. At least I don't think it is. <laughs> 10 years is a big difference. So keep drawing guys. Like don't stop. I get emails from people who are like 12 and they're like, I can't draw, help me, how do I make my art better? And like at that point you really can't critique them. Like the only thing you can do when you're that age is just draw because you love it. So just keep doing it. You can do it guys. Like just keep drawing. Like look at me, like I think, I think you guys can do it. Like just keep drawing. 
I'm already at 15 minutes. I'm wondering if I should show some more. There, I'll show you these Magna Girl sketches and then we'll close it off. So if you want to see some more of these old art, let me know and hit that like button. But uh, here, these are really, really cute. So I thought I'd show you. Here's Maggie in normal clothes, I think. Maggie um, in the middle of some kind of crime fighting back when her outfit was like very, very pink. I guess I was drawing little like promotional posters because they have little like descriptions. She's like, without flight, where would I be? Well, on the ground for starters. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Here, oh, this is Maggie without clothes. She's like, I'm Magna E. Yeah, Maggie. That's where it says that. Her outfit's actually really, really cute. I like that. I'll have to bring that back for something. Totally forgot about these. Oh, here she is on the news. Flying girl. There's a flying girl reported on channel three. Oh, here's Maggie. She's been uh, captured by something apparently. And the guy's probably doing his evil monologue speech and all she's thinking about how is some boys with some other girl and she is upset. <laughs> That's kind of amusing. Oh, this was supposed to be the sidekick to some villain. He was Fungus. Well, his name was Gus, and he wore this shirt that said, I am fun, so he's a fun guy. It's Fungus. <laughs> I thought it was really funny when I came up with that, but then now the joke seems a little flat. Oh, this is um a character people seem to remember a lot, but I don't talk about her that much. This is um, Philomena. She was supposed to be this girl from the future, and she had a whole story, and I actually wrote it out once. Pretty <laughs> lengthy. Um, so I was trying to do a comic. See, comics is something I've like always wanted to do, and I've just never felt like I was good enough to do them. Because you'll see, like I think I only did two pages because I gave up. And Don't give up, guys! Keep going! <laughs> I'm mad at myself for giving up on things. But So here it is. So I have... I was reading The Dreamer at the time, and I'll have a link in the description if you want to check out that webcomic, but I was obsessed with it at the time. And Laura Innes, I think's her name, uh, she had like a tutorial on how she makes her comics, so I was like following it to a T. I even got a blue pencil, drew out her little lines and margins like she said, and then I would draw it, and then you do it on a separate page, and then you add your ink, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so I really wanted to do it, I just apparently, oh this is page two. I think this is when I started, I was like, gee, they, she doesn't even look like the same character anymore. And I like got frustrated and gave up. But I also labeled them. So that's draft two, page one, draft two, page two. Here's the, um, looks like it's the first page before I inked it there. And she's got like her list of things she's supposed to do. So this, oh, this is page, oh, draft three of page two. So that's also, some, like I did a bunch of drafts of the same pages and was just never happy with them. Which isn't a bad thing to do. See, like I rearranged it. It's like the same elements, but they're rearranged. Changed the angles. I made critiques on my art and I, I was just very, very hard on myself at this time. Didn't like that sketch. I wrote no on it. <laughs> Oh, here's that sketch again. I drew it on different paper and really liked it, so then I ended up moving it over. Uh, here was a first attempt at this drawing, and I didn't like the angle, so I was a little bit more creative in my angle. So drafts are important, because you can get better ideas usually, because you can see what you don't like about them, but it's not good to be mean to yourself about it. Like, it's okay, guys. I don't know why I was so mean to myself. What is it? Oh, this was draft one. So this was my first attempt, I guess. I think that's page two though. And then this was my second attempt. So you can see there's a difference in these. I think this is the first one I ever drew too. <laughs> 23 hours, time to get dressed. Ugh, head too big. Look, I'm still mean. <laughs> I'm mean. I mean, it's okay to critique yourself, but I feel like I was hardcore. Like, if you look at someone and it says like, oh, that's not right, that's not right, like, that's okay. But I remember what I was thinking when I wrote it and I was being nice when I wrote the head's too big. I was personally thinking, I can't draw this head's enormous. Like, I'll never be able to draw a smaller head even if I tried, so why bother? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I colored that one. There's like so many of the exact same page. I just, I didn't want to ruin it, so I would like make copies and then try again. I actually drew her body under the covers so that I would know where the wrinkles would go, which is actually a very good idea, but I wouldn't suggest drawing it that detailed. This 
is, I didn't put the year, how useless. That, um, this is when I already had DeviantArt, so this is after, I think, 2009-ish. And this, uh, this page was actually on my DeviantArt for a while, I don't know if it still is, but I like scanned it in and colored it digitally, because I think this was after I got my tablet, and I wasn't able to use it, and I was getting really frustrated with it. And I found some tutorial that was like, oh, we'll just draw it traditionally and then add in, like, then scan it in and edit it there with your tablet so you can, like, get some, mm, what's that, muscle memory so you learn how to use it. And so that was some things I was doing. I think there's a few here. Yeah, I definitely, oh, 2008, there it is. This is definitely at the same time as that. So these are from 2008. I was probably 14, 13, 13, 14, yeah. But that was, yeah, scanned in and colored. So was this this? Oh, yeah, this is from the same time. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> this was a picture I drew from my friend who really liked horses, and she actually had a pet miniature horse. So that was a picture I drew of her. I think I, ew. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I colored that. So <laughs> that's why I always scanned first, because I felt like I ruined them afterwards. That's a kind of, I did a pretty good job at the plaid, even though the color's a little gaudy. Here, I remember being kind of proud of this. She was supposed to be a character from Philomena's story and she had this like, I wouldn't call it a disease. She just had these growths on her, but it wasn't supposed to be a disease. It was like she was supposed to be kind of an alien. So that was, I mean, it's apparently Marty or Martha. Here's Philomena again. So these are definitely early, these are much, what's it, later? Drawn later than this. some of those other ones I've been showing you. Here's some heads. These were all drawn when I still had a sketchbook. Sketchbook, I don't know, one or two, I think, so. Daddy! <laughs> oh, this was um, basically traced. It wasn't technically traced, but it was a drawing Lois did of like, there was like this much of it, I think, of Tinkerbell. And I like looked up at the screen, looked down, looked up at the screen, looked down, and like basically traced it. So I used a reference, but I didn't like use it. Because when you use a reference, you should really, um, you know, look up, draw it, look up, draw it. But you shouldn't like be like, okay, the line has to go where her line went and her eyes have to be where her eyes are. But I did draw the bottom half all by myself. So that actually turned out pretty cute, I think. But you can tell I copied that hand quite obviously. <laughs> but I also changed the outfit. I made her the winter Tinkerbell instead of the, I don't know, what's that? Just the normal Tinkerbells, I think her drawing was. But I just, I also scanned that in and colored it. And this one, my Swedish girl. <laughs> I don't know why, that's, I don't know. Oh, this was during the Winter Olympics, I think, and I was watching all the hockey. And I think Zetterberg and Lundqvist, and everyone was on the Swedish team, what, Franzen and Lidstrom, and so I was rooting for Sweden. Well, of course, I was rooting for USA, too. But I, but I wanted to draw that a little better, so, it, well, I think what I was doing was doing a bit of a line art kind of thing, so I traced it and tried again. And we're back up to me and the girl. <laughs> so yeah, if you wanna see some of my other really old art, I really don't know the dates on it, but I have a couple more here and there's some more under my bed. So if you wanna see that, hit the like button. This, this video is getting very, very long, so I'm gonna stop it there. But um, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all next week. And don't give up, keep drawing people. Don't stop. You'll just be mad at yourself later in life, okay? Unless you hate drawing, then don't draw. Like, don't give yourself that kind of grief. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. Hope you have a delicious evening. Follow up, Bye.